To prepare a Blackboard course for a new semester, some content and users will need to be removed. The items that need to be removed and the process will differ slightly for each instructor. The first thing an instructor needs to do is to make sure the course has been backed up so the old content can be reloaded into Blackboard if necessary. See the videos entitled Archiving a Blackboard 9.1 Course and downloading a copy of the Grade Center on the Teaching and Learning Center Blackboard Faculty Support site. To remove the content from a course, log into Blackboard, and enter the course to be prepared for redeployment. After making sure the course has been successfully archived, proceed with the bulk delete process. In the control panel, expand the Packages and Utility category by clicking on the down chevron to the left of the name. Then click on the bulk delete entry to select the items to be removed from the course. The most common selections are in section 2 entitled Select Other Materials to Delete, where checks should be placed in the boxes next to Users and Statistics. Some instructors may want to delete additional items in sections 1 or 2. In section 1, entitled content materials to delete, the course content areas of the course are displayed. If any of these boxes is checked, the entire content area will be deleted. Notice the warning, this action is final and cannot be undone right below the section heading. This is why the course should be archived before attempting to bulk delete content from the course. In section 2, entitled select other materials to delete, the various course tools are displayed. These items should be selected only if all the content contained in the specific tool is to be deleted. Some instructors will choose to delete announcements and messages. A word of caution, however, is needed. Selecting the discussion board, for example, will delete not only the post, but also all of the discussion forums in the discussion board area. The discussion posts are best deleted in the forums themselves. See the video called Bulk Removal of Discussion Forum Post in Blackboard on the Teaching and Learning Center Blackboard Faculty Support Site for a demonstration of how to remove old discussion posts. One last word of caution, never check the Grade Center columns entry. Let me repeat that, never bulk delete the columns in the Grade Center. Removing columns from the Grade Center this way will break all associated assignments, forums, and assessments. Besides, the grades for the old students will be deleted when they are bulk removed from the class, so there is no need to clear out the Grade Center using this tool. After all the items to be removed have been selected in Sections 1 and 2, Go to the section 3 entitled Confirmation. In the box provided, type the word DELETE. And yes, it does have to be capitalized, or a warning message will appear. After typing DELETE, click one of the two Submit buttons. When the page reloads, the Packages and Utilities page will be displayed, and a green bar will appear at the top of the screen stating, SUCCESS, Bulk Delete Operation Completed. Now any user content and the discussion forums or other tools areas can be removed by going to each of those tools individually.